Let's go. All right, let's roll. Got eyes on the refinery, Chief. Let's see what he's got to say. What is this? Teaching out here too? We're here to deliver a message. Stop doing business with the cartel. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Cut the shit. We know Santa Blanca is getting its precursors from you. We want you to stop. Mira, pues, this company keeps Libertad alive. If Santa Blanca doesn't get what they want, they can shut us down. I can't have that, understand? Yeah? Well, understand this. If you don't stop supplying the cartel, we'll shut the rigs down ourselves. Fuck off, pinches gringos. This guy's more stubborn than goddamn General MacArthur. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way then. Saddle up, we're heading to the oil rigs. Ah, it's a beautiful time, a beautiful time! And don't stress about that dress, chica. I'm sure it looks gorgeous. And over in Cayuba, Manuel is turning 57. I guess he's one of our older listeners, eh? Well, feliz cumpleaños! I want all of you birthday raza out there to drink a cold one for your DJ Perico. Because he's gonna drink a cold one for you. This next tune is for you guys. One more year above. That was fucking close. There's one of the oil rigs. Take it out. Ready? Open fire. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. They're on alert. That tank goes down. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting at the witch market. Go find Jensen and bring him to me.
Ready? Fire, fire, fire. I copy. Opening fire on these fuckers. Fire. Roger. I know we're here. Be careful. Fire. Right of the cage. Look at that. Pretty good sized city considering the location. Reminds me a little bit of Houston. Everything is built around the oil refinery. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. Back off! I'm a scientist. Pants! Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists. You've got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Shit, Jensen's getting away. Opening fire. You're in trouble. Get down. Sniper's got us targeted. You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. What's the word, boss? This is 
bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. Eyes up, we got hostiles Sorry in the area. Sorry but I gotta have the car. Out. Buckle up, people. Rival cartel has to go. Them for his talent. Hijos de puta. All right, as I'm well in. Well, as the usual rumors Fuck that me. a couple of gringos whisked them away with some American-type magic. Look, anyone with any real factual information is asked to contact Nidia La Reina Flores. Their cerebro is like blood to our chica Nidia Flores, so I'm sure any assistance will be well rewarded. Entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. The LT is escaping. Hands! Show me your hands! Do it now! Goddamn fascists! You've got no right! I'm an American citizen! Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. Ugh. This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it.
Back off! I'm a scientist. <sighs> You got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. Desperate people make desperate mistakes, and I had made El Yayo and La Gringa desperate. I pressured them too much. But I had no choice. The attacks on our production were increasing. It was hurting our supply chain. If something was not done, we would lose our market share. So I pushed them to produce more coke. They couldn't do it, so they started to cut it, dilute it. Lower the quality to increase the quantity. An understandable mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. I had spent years branding Santa Blanca. A quality product. The best in the world. A primo price for a primo product. Problem was, the product wasn't primo anymore. And someone had to pay for that. Heads up, Nomad. Looks like La Gringa just hit her expiration date with the cartel. What do we know? The damage you've done to cartel production. Force La Gringa to start cutting the purity of her coke to keep up with demand. Maybe she was playing for time, hoping she could get things back under control before Sueño noticed. If so, she bet wrong. Now Sueño's going to make an example out of her. There's a crew on the way to her house right now. La Gringa's got nowhere to run. Unless we give her a way out. Exactly. I need you to haul ass and get to her house and put you. Convince her she's better off with us than with Sueño and get her to the extraction point. El Sueño's discovered that La Gringa's been cutting the purity.
Thanks for your help, Inakoro. You know, I think not want to talk to you that me joining the rebels was a bad idea. But after that, I'll drive. little thing, he's very proud of me. Man, y'all never let me drive anymore. Just cause that one time. Your village is just up ahead. Let's hustle and get to La Gringa before the cartel does. Right behind you, boss. Put a call to the. Looks like some of Katari's rebels are defending La Gringa's house. We're your way out of this mess, understand? But we've got to move right fucking now. I won't get far. Not like this. I know someone. He lives in a village not far from here. The rebels, they take their wounded to him when they can. How old do you know that rebel doctor? He won't talk to the cartel. If that's what you're afraid of, they don't scare him. Guy, no. And a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. Gotta hold on, Gringa. You've still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. I'm going, I'm going into shock. Is she gonna make it? She'd better. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That Qatar must have sent them to protect me. I feel cold. I'm starting to feel cold. Why would Pat Qatari protect a cartel scientist like you? Uh, I, I've been using Sueño's money to buy medical supplies for the rebels. Pac didn't mention that shit to us. How would I know? You're not cold, are you? This is me. Don't quit on me now, lady. Sight's just up ahead. Shit balls. Hello. 
Get out. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. I call Pakatari for some reinforcements. Contact. Sueño sent another crew after us. Take him down. Helicopter inbound. Frag out. Helos opening fire. Culeros. Opening fire on these fuckers. Frag out. What's the word, boss? We've given the doc all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting La Gringa out of here. I'll pilot. 